I say that? I apologize in advance for <laughs> future me watching this video and be like, that's cringe as fuck. I gotta restart. <laughs> Hello everyone. It's been a while since I've talked face to camera about something really personal and I kind of don't want to, but I have to address the elephant in the room. And the elephant is me. <laughs> I'm not making a fat joke here, but no, I did. Wow. But the thing is that I have to address something that few of you have realized since they know me for years. But the thing is that I cannot focus on one thing. I just right now I, I was I had a sentence ready and I forgot it. My mind keep drifting, taking shortcuts between things that have no no how do you say that? Between things that have no essential core, same things, you know, I don't know. Oh, the thing is that my mind keeps shifting between subjects that are not related. And um, if I can process and function at work, it's because we have a pattern of doing things. Uh, if I have to make a bandage, uh, I know I have to take care of uh, the wound, the skin, uh, realize the state of the wound, maybe take a picture for the doctor. Um, everything is like a list that I learn and I process those things, uh, point A, B, C, and that helps a lot for me. The thing is that I got easily distracted and I'm really focusing right now to finish my sentence. Um, the thing is that I do, in fact, um, end up easily distracted. And the thing is that working in an hospital is kinda challenging sometimes because you have patients asking you for stuff when you're already doing something for the neighbor in the room. Like, for example, I'm, I'm taking stitches out of a wound and one of the guy will be like oh can i have a bottle of water please i'm thirsty and i'm like uh don't you see i have my two hands in the leg of your neighbor and i may not be the best person you should ask for that maybe you should ring the bell above your head that signal the nurse in the office that you need something uh. <laughs> Another example, quick example, um, you're walking on the hallway, you have a shit ton of stuff in your hand and people are like, can you please help me cleaning my back? Dude, if you see a nurse running with shit in her hand, not literally shit, I would throw that in a bin, but <laughs> with a shit ton of stuff like bandage, uh, maybe uh, all O2 stuff related because we have a lot of people with the COVID and the pandemic that need O2 to breathe. Uh, maybe it's not the first thing you should say to her. Like, I cannot clean your back right now. Don't you see someone's dying under the other room? Uh, <laughs> but anyway, at work, I can function. I don't have to stress about did someone did the stuff? Do I need to do the stuff? Because yeah, I stress a lot for that. If no one do it, I feel guilty for not having done it. Even if I was four day off and I wasn't even there. You know what I mean? Because I had to think for the other because they're not able to. That's very wrong to think like that. I know that that's one of my issue. But the thing is that, um, how can I say that nicely? Um, some people just only do the basic stuff they need to do. I can be the fucking moron too. Like for once, a guy told me, yeah, yeah, I'm in, I, 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 I'm in my pajamas, everything's fine, everything's fine, thank you nurse, goodbye. And I went off to my day, my coworker took the night shift on, and the morning after she was like, Hey, fuck you. He wasn't in the pyjama. 
His panties were soaked with urine and you did not your job. He was still with his shoes on the bed because the guy was confused and I didn't check and I was the fucking moron. So now I double check. He's making sense and perfectly squeaky clean. I'm just like, can I just check your skin? I Someone told me that you had some bad rough skin patch somewhere so they have to sh I'm just you know just I double check and make sure that I did my job and the thing is that um, that haunts me because I don't want to give a burden to others if I don't do my job it's someone else's responsibility to take care of my job plus their job and that's fucking annoying I don't want someone to have my weight on their shoulder and that's a responsibility for everyone. But that's just a small part of my issue. I drifted completely from what I was about to say, but yeah, you got the point. It's been years that I'm dating my man. And no, he don't do anything to annoy or make me scared or pissed or anything. He know that I don't like huge crowd of people and thankfully he's not a huge fan of that too so the only time we got to a concert in 2017 he made sure he take my hand and made sure that i could cross the crowd and not getting bumped by someone he took care of making a spot on the front row with the handle so i could grasp the barrier and just be feel safe that i had something to to attach myself to because I, I i don't know how to explain that but if i'm standing in a crowd with my backpack and there's a lot of people around me and sweaty people just get their skin across me even if it's not their fault i don't feel good at all even if it's just for one hour i don't care I can handle sweat when I know what I'm doing. For example, if I'm doing heavy hard work and someone is helping me carrying and heavy stuff, I won't mind. But because my mind is focused on something, if it's between songs or between something at a concert event, um, I won't feel good at all. Yeah, I got drift away again, I don't remember what I was going to talk about. When I hear something once, maybe twice, sometimes, I remember. Someone told me something like five years ago and I still remember what they say. Because it's related to something that I felt. <laughs> okay. So basically, if that impacts my way of functioning and my emotion, I will remember it. I remember something that someone told me like 10 years ago, but I cannot remember what I had for dinner three days ago yeah <laughs> and the thing is that if I am too stimulated it's not good because human interaction and like big event that in a lot of focusing drains me out I could sleep for four hours after my work shift. I, I do nap a lot. I do sleep uh, way too much. And as you can see, I'm biting my finger all the time. I should st fucking stop that. I look fucking tired on the camera. Oh my God, I need to do something about my eye. I look like a trash panda. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I will post prod that. But yeah, that's one thing. And I realized that despite everything that I do, I know how to function, I have a job, I have a car, I know to handle uh, my taxes, I do my own paperwork. I could live alone and I did live alone for a long time. Yeah, basically I know how to function. But man, I just did a little introspection about my life and about me and i just watched me through a different eyes and i realized that i might be how can you say that 
very stress related when something is changing in my routine I will stress not just like freaking out just like oh my god what am I gonna do it's more like silent stress but I feel my muscles just and then I have stiff shoulders and I even got a zone now so yeah how can I explain that um the stress I feel it I feel it a lot so one day or another it's gonna break like oh I got a broken bone ouch okay and I would be like it's my fault I didn't take care of that because that's the way I am <laughs> I just realized that maybe doing something being proactive in my health would be better than just waiting on someone to help me because you can just stand and wish for someone to help you but if you don't take the bull by the horn and be like okay no I want things to change you cannot change it and you cannot wait for someone to do it for you that's fucked up someone can help you go through the process but if you rely everything on someone else you're gonna drain them and you n you won't be better at the end of the day I know that trust me on that okay and the thing is that I realize that I might might have a deficiency of attention it's easy for me now there's no sound I don't have any music there's no one in the room there's only that camera on the wall that I'm watching and I can focus on my my sentence because I, I calm down from the first period of the video that I've been filming and you can realize that I'm more how can I explain that I am more grounded on my my chair I don't wiggle a lot like I did in the first part of the video and I know where I want to go but the thing is I don't know how I will go to that my thinking is not a straight line I start a sentence something remind me of few things and I have to get through that line and the thing is that sometimes I cannot because I lost the path that I wanted to go and something keep beeping in my head like hey 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 remember that you say that it should remind you of that hey hey fucking navy in my head I swear to god that character is annoying sometimes but imagine having that in your brain I actually don't get it don't imagine you cannot imagine it's like a tiny you reminding you of stupid stuff like showing you a phone when you're trying to focus on something and, hey you remember that yeah I, I remember fuck off <laughs> and like right now just talking about this made me realize that I have to do a few videos on TikTok and stuff like that it have been hours that I haven't checked my social media maybe someone is actually trying to reach me but my phone is in my chamber trying to charge because I discharged the battery looking at stupid stuff on the internet for hours because I couldn't focus on doing this fucking video that I'm doing right now and yeah I keep drifting away god mm. I swear I'm not doing that on purpose usually I cut and edit my video a lot but now you're gonna experience the row in your timer. like I think I don't know for you but maybe I should try to see a specialist someone that could help me with um, this focusing focusing oh, the focus in attentions that I have I got easily distracted even when I f mm, when I'm watching a movie and it it's funny and I'm not enjoy the moment I will pick up my phone and look at something and drift away the fuck is wrong with me I want to focus I want to live the present moment but I cannot my brain keep asking me to check stuff in case of that's a sign of stress why I mean never once in my life 
I had missed an important call or I did miss something very important. Like once I didn't awake because my phone didn't ring and I didn't catch the air dresser because I had an appointment at 10 in the morning and uh, I did sleep quite late because I couldn't sleep early and the thing is that I my sleep pattern is fucked I do sleep a lot when I come back from work and then I can't fall asleep at night and sometimes it's 9 p.m. and I'm like fuck off I'm tired I'm going to bed I'm fucked <laughs> but yeah otherwise than that that's that that's good otherwise than everything apart that I'm feeling good I mean how can I explain that? That sounds wrong saying that I'm feeling with, uh, this spiral of that. But yeah, the thing that's not making feel good is the reaction that the other gave me. The answer they give me because of my being. You know what I mean? Mm. Sorry, <coughs> I have a sore throat. I think I may have bit. I may have a little bit of hyperactivity, maybe, I don't know, I cannot stay in place and once someone told me, can't you shut up? We're gonna play a game, sit down, put your hand on your knees and don't move. It wasn't on, it wasn't on a day off, it was at my very work and i had a shit ton of stuff to do i was just trying to be friendly with the person and the person didn't mean for her it wasn't that bad it was just like hey she's talking a lot maybe i should do something about it and ask her to turn it down but the phrasing hurt me so much i don't need i don't want to spend my energy trying to be part of someone's life if they don't want me. I don't care anymore. I used to be the one always reaching out and be, hey, what's up? It's been years, it's been months, how are you doing? Not anymore, I don't care, I don't fucking care. I'm pissed, okay? I'm angry about something, some stuff, and I realized with the pandemic that my priority changed for good. Because now I'm focusing on what I want and what I need. And I realize that I'm being quite aggressive right now and I don't like that part of me. I don't like that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to focus on something else. <laughs> That's the thing. I realized that that was a bad example. Bad in the sense of it made me feel bad. Because people realized that I do talk a lot, move a lot, trying to do a lot of stuff af at work. I realized something's missing, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a lot of noise, trying to arrange, clean, uh, organize. And people don't like that because it makes noise. Fuck you, you had to take care of that and you didn't. Let me do the stuff now, fuck off. Okay, I'm sorry, I got angry again. Um, another example. That wasn't bad or good, it was neutral. A good friend invited me for a podcast. And afterward, I realized that me being stressed was me talking way too much. Talking about stuff that wasn't that weren't related to the podcast, talking over other invited per persons and just being out of place and i wanted to cry i cut the mic uh, and i just listened to what the other person said and i swear to god i wanted to cry i wanted to cry because someone make me part of something and I couldn't be appropriate. And 
I just want to be able to focus and do something that's not making other people feel bad or ashamed about having me in the same room. And I don't want to be the tester or the person you invite only because it's, it's funny or because you know I'm gonna do something stupid or I want to be the friend you invite because you like me. And I, I can't seem to stop at the moment like that. My body, my brain, one part of my brain keep talking, making reference to stuff that nobody cares about. And it's like I'm seeing myself through a different set of eyes and one part of my brain is like, shut up. You shouldn't say that, you shouldn't do that, but I keep going and it's like a train wreck, I can't stop it. And I'm just, I'm here. I'm the one doing that and I want it to stop. So Usually people are very nice to me and that person is an angel and he didn't say anything about it. He was just like, don't worry, I'm gonna cut it out. Like, since the podcast I can work on it, everything's fine, don't worry, it wasn't it wasn't an issue for me, just a lot of work editing and it's not because of you, it's because sometimes that's the way uh, recording are and I'm, I'm even if he said that I feel responsible for that. <laughs> but anyway that that's the kind of brain I like. That's the kind of answer I like. And uh, I just hope, I just hope that one day I will be able to, my God, calm down, please. <laughs> nothing bad happened, nothing bad happened. I just want to thank the people that keep getting in touch with me and realize that I have some some issues with ordinary life and everyone keep telling me that I'm crazy, that I'm different and even if they say that it's not in a bad way because their action, the way they talk to me make me feel like it's more like, yeah, you're different. That's a good thing. You know what I mean? Some people talk to me and be like, you're weird. And I feel that it's not something nice. But a lot of people that I know make me feel like it's okay to be different. And that's, that's a huge relief for me because I feel like I belong. And the thing is that I talk a lot when I'm stressed. And at the moment I realized that I don't have to be stressed, that I can just be here and do stuff and no one's gonna judge me because for once I don't talk, everything's fine. And I calm down and I don't speak that much. I can spend hours with few of my friends or even my man in the same room and we all do something different. Time to time we just check on other like, hey, I'm getting to the kitchen, do you want anything to drink or a snack or... And it can be hours like that and everything's fine. <sighs> People annoys me. My friends are amazing and I see a lot of beautiful and inspiring people. But the humans, the, the people outside, outside my interest, I think they're blank. All the same. All the fucking same. I do cosplay makeup, not that good, I know, but I do that. And 
people are like <laughs> you do weird videos bitch you take picture of your feet in the sand fuck off at least i'm doing something creative you know what i mean but i won't change the way i do things and that's what a coworker told me and i thanks him for that it was like you cannot control the answer and the way people think or feel about the situation you can only control what you want to say and what you do and i was like that sounds absurd but that's perfectly clear for me now because i was like if i don't act a certain way this person will be sad no if i do that and i know it's appropriate and i know it's correct for the work and i don't want that to happen again i have to make it clear say it to the person and that's their issue to deal with their emotion period <laughs> as i told you it was way way too long i hope the video is gonna turn out not too boring if other people relate to what i'm feeling what i talk about and please let me know maybe we can see i don't know if you have technique or a way of doing things differently that can make you feel less stressed if you have advice and good advice i'm taking everything anyway it's been it's been a long time now i will let you go thank you for staying in the video if you're here check out um <laughs> take care of you check the music you like don't fucking care about what other think because anyway whatever you do someone's gonna be pissed and angry and gonna judge you for what you do you better do something you like then <laughs> anyway see you very soon bye